Do you remember what happened when we slapped two Arctic P12 Maxes on top of a Liquid Freezer 240? We essentially created a 360mm version, a lot louder version of a 360, but performance wise, yes, it did perform like a 360 at max speed. Then we tried to do the same thing with a 360 version and although it gained a full degree C in max performance, it wasn't quite on the level of a 420. Not even mentioning the fact that a 420 would have been whispering quiet while the 360 Max was yelling like a madman in the middle of a city at night. But I am not done because very fortunately I got a package completely unrelated and it's scheduled to have its own review at some point and all but it just arrived at the absolute perfect timing. I'm talking about a care package from Noctua containing their NASFMA1 brackets. And what this is, is an adapter plate to make their NFA12X25s mountable to a 140mm fan spot, meaning they are meant to make your A12X25 mount on top of a 280 or 420 radiator. Now already the existence of this product kind of proves how proud or how certain Noxia is about their A12X25, but that's not for today because fortunately Noxia decided not to add some of these little knobs that they put on basically every bracket because if I still have the fan somewhere here, no I don't have it, where is the Noxia fan? Because Noxia adds like another two holes around the, the fan screw hole uh, for whatever reason. They use it for example to attach their uh, rubber corners or the gasket that they have and all. And very fortunately they did not do this with this bracket. And this means that they can be used universally without me cutting away parts of it. Now this video is not about this bracket, there will be another one for that, but to give you some heads up, these are still designed by Noctua for Noctua fans and although Noctua states that there might be some other 120mm fan that may work fine, the P12 is just not one of them. They do fit, don't get me wrong, uh, but they will like click out all the freaking time because yeah the indentation on the frame is just not made for the P12 Max. Now fortunately I don't really care about uh, putting together parts unconsensually, so what I was able to do is press them together and then screw in the, the screws using an electric drill uh, to have additional force and thus I'm not bending the frame but it definitely doesn't feel like I'm using it the right way. However in the end it was flat, everything was installed correctly and I had a 140mm version of a P12 Max. So we took our P12 Maxes, slapped them on top of that Nokia NASFMA1 adapter plate, already doing quite the unthinkable thing, and then we mounted the whole thing down to the Arctic Liquid Freezer 420, creating the double unthinkable atrocity that I have here. Please do not do this, everything about this is wrong. As a small reminder, an original and stock Arctic Liquid Freezer 420 using P14s was capable of keeping the 200 watts pushing 13700K at 60.6 .6 degrees C above ambient. So a bit better than the 61.1 degrees C achieved by the 360 mil using P12 Maxes, though that one was a lot louder. Now what happened when we fused the enormous size of the 420mm radiator with the clearly illegal speed of the P12 Maxes? Well, um, damn. The temperature dropped down another 0.7 degrees C to a staggering 59.9 degrees C above ambient. Now although this is a bit cooler, I do have a bit of trouble with all of these results. 
in the end, after the 240 version, both the 360 and 420 became marginally better when slapping maxes on there. And point something is just really marginal. And yes, sure, I am recording the room temperature live every at every measuring point, essentially. So everything is as accurate as I can make it. But in the end, 0.6 degrees C is like, yeah, well, if I breathe into it, uh, that could be 0.6. But hey, let's take it as it is. The monstrosity of a triple fan 120mm adapted to 140mm 420mm Arctic Liquid Freezer was the best Arctic Liquid Freezer we have ever seen. Who in his right mind would do this to his system? But let's now take a look at the Noise 2 performance graph, because as assumed in the last video, it did happen. Although my personal Frankenstein did perform marginally better, everything beyond a regular 420mm performance pretty much flatlined. Why? Because a 420 regular is pretty much maxed out. Adding quicker fans will just make it louder. Adding more fans may make it quieter because you don't need as much and you can make them run at slower speed, but add more fan speed and you have close to zero gain. Now, that's not the case if we compare the results to the 360 Max. There we will see a very clear gain, but that was kind of expected given that we just added more rad size and that alone gives you some extra performance. But still, do not do this. This doesn't make any sense. A regular 420 freezer will do just fine, and you will gain literally nothing. Except for this mini spot right here. Yes, if you make your P14s run at 90% fan speed and your P12 maxes adapted to a 140mm fan at 30-40% to fan speed, the P12 max will produce a better noise to performance ratio. Congratulations, you just spent way too much money and time for this. So now, although this was a very fun experiment, do not do this. This is not worth it. But what is worth it is maxing out a Liquid Freezer 240. So if you haven't watched this one, make sure to watch it, cause that one does make sense, the 360 and 420 just doesn't. But okay, this should be it for the new Arctic Liquid Freezer 420 Max. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you wanna join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but will also serve to buy some very fancy boxes of chocolate and send them to Nokia and Arctic to apologize for whatever I have done here today. No company should experience what we did to both of them. And I am truly sorry that I let my imagination run wild on, on this one. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.